Hello, my name's Adrian Mullane. I live on the Sunshine Coast. Around about the 9th of October, I went to a party where I would normally play some songs on my guitar and have a sing. I'm an old folky. And uh, I found that I could play some stuff, but very, very poorly. And everything just wasn't working right. My left hand was not able to push down on the strings of the guitar. I could strum, I could do a bit of picking, but things weren't quite right. That was about the ninth. My memory's not entirely perfect on exactly the stream of events, but somewhere around the 14th or the 15th of October, I found that I was having troubles even putting my hand down to help myself up out of the bath. And I wasn't yet in the bath, but I contacted my son and I asked him to come home and help me because I knew I needed to take a bath. By the time he got home, uh, I got in the bath uh, and I could never move or turn myself around or do anything in the bath. He struggled to help me. Finally, the ambulance came and they diagnosed that I needed to get straight down to the hospital. They took me at first to SKU, the Sunshine Coast University Hospital, where I was rapidly, I believe, scanned at that time. And they then rushed me straight down to Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. On the 17th of October, they took a surgery to my skull, which sounds really rather dramatic, but they made a rather decent incision in the top of my skull to pull the skin back out of the way, uh, spoiled my lovely hairdo, and they took a, probably about a 50 cent piece chunk of skull. Quite painlessly, I wasn't there, it was just a body they were working on, and they inserted a very fine tube and set up a drip arrangement put the piece of skull back, stitch me up. Uh, I'll probably insert some photographs into this clip. That then gets a slight squeeze. And it causes a downward pressure, pulling gently on the flow of blood coming down a tube which is fed into my side of my skull. I can't see what I'm filming. But this tube here is taped and held. There's a hole about that big being made in the side of my head and then put back. I'm not sure the whole detail. But the remarkable thing is uh, I woke up with a bit of a tube hanging down and I had a little handbag I had to carry. It was a small, uh, very slight suction and drain that was taking away this massive pool of blood which was like that, pushing my brain over to one side my brain was off-centred and uh, it came upon me but I had no idea that it was happening. Uh, the reason I'm making this clip is because I spent three days in that hospital and aside from the incredible culture and attitude and uh, not forgetting skill but Skill's not much use without the desire and the care and the attention and the attitude. But I spent three days there being looked after by profoundly remarkable people. And I had some pretty tough times. My head felt like it was exploding with emotion and I expected I might maybe be vegetized or veg vegetative state. I had no idea what might come up. I had to sign pieces of paper to acknowledge that I may end up in any condition. So in any way, I just wanted to say I got home barely three mornings later and I sat up and I picked up my guitar and this is the result. 
that I want to share with you. It's not good light. I'm just home from hospital. It's the first morning home. The good news is, a week ago, I couldn't get my fingers to find any strings. I was wondering what was happening. I didn't realise I was suffering a stroke. Anyway, I've managed to tune up my instrument and uh, this is a very rough, just a little good morning, look what's happened. I've got some function. It's not quite normal function yet, but it's getting there. Just a little hesitation. Sailing hardships through broken harbours Out on the waves in the night <laughs> Still the searcher must ride the dark horse Racing alone in his pride Tell me why Tell me why Is it hard to make arrangements with yourself When you're old enough to repay Young enough to say Well it's coming back I just thought I'd share that. It's pretty exciting that I can actually handle a guitar again. Alrighty, that's my little cheerful good morning. Yes, the feelings that passed through my mind were very much affected by the expectation that this might be very close to the end of my life or that everything as I knew it was coming to an end. And uh, the emotional and psychological consequences of this stroke for someone who has suffered significant depression for a lot of my life uh, that was very confronting for me and so it occurs to me that there may be people facing and staring down these types of monumental surgical procedures and I really just wanted to share the well I guess it's a miracle but it's a miracle made by human diligence and care and I have to recognise the amazing skill and the care at the hospital. But I just wanted to share my outcome, which is very, very, I feel almost unaffected at this point, except for I do have emotional baggage and stuff going on. When the brains move back and forth, I think it causes something to, to happen. Uh, but I think I'm going to be near enough as good as new. And that doesn't mean everyone will, it doesn't mean you will, but my message is I was terrified but I signed the papers and I just put my faith in hope that science might have a chance to help me. Some people may want to talk to a higher power but my higher power was the very diligent care of the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital doctor and nursing staff of whom I cannot sing praises high enough. So thanks and enjoy my amateur clip. In the chilly hours and minutes of uncertainty I want to be in the warm hold of your loving mind. To feel you all around me and to 
take your hand along the sand and everywhere I'd look your eyes I'd find are standing in your heart is where I want to be and I long to be Ah, but I may as well Try and catch the wind When rain has hung the leaves with tears I want you near just to kill my fears Help me to leave all my blues behind For me to love you now Would be the greatest thing T'would make me sing Oh, but I may as well try and catch the wind by Thoughts of the Wind, thanks to Donovan Leach, who wrote the song. Here we are. Hope that's nice.
that and then gets a slight squeeze and it causes a downward pressure pulling gently on the flow of blood coming down a tube which is fed into my side of my skull. I can't see what I'm filming but this tube here is taped and held. There's a hole about that big being made in the side of my head and then put back. I'm not sure the whole detail.
Yes, the feelings that passed through my mind were very much affected by the expectation that this might be very close to the end of my life or that everything as I knew it was coming to an end. And uh, the emotional and psychological consequences of this stroke for someone who has suffered significant depression for a lot of my life, uh, that was very confronting for me. And so it occurs to me that there may be people facing and staring down these types of monumental surgical procedures. And I really just wanted to share the, well, I guess it's a miracle, but it's a miracle made by human diligence and care. And I have to recognise the amazing skill and the care at the hospital. But I just wanted to share my outcome, which is very, very, I feel almost unaffected at this point, except for I do have emotional baggage and stuff going on. When the brains move back and forth, I think it causes something to, to happen. Uh, but I think I'm going to be near enough as good as new. And that doesn't mean everyone will. It doesn't mean you will. But my message is I was terrified, but I signed the papers and I just put my faith in hope that science might have a chance to help me. Some people may want to talk to a higher power, but my higher power was the very diligent care of the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital doctor and nursing staff, of whom I cannot sing praises high enough. So thanks and enjoy my amateur clip.